Hello, this is Zach with MusclesAndVeggies.com coming at you guys with some ketogenic product testing. So, this is Zevia Grape Soda, one of my favorite sodas. Um, so, people are out there, there's some, some internet bloggers that are saying that um, Stevia lowers blood sugar by raising your insulin, okay? And that can cause problems because they say that it will raise your cortisol, which will make you go catabolic and start eating your muscle. So we're going to do some ketogenic product testing here. We're going to test blood sugar and blood ketones and see how this can of Zevia affects each postprandial. So getting my little testing station together here. Stay tuned. All right, get that going. This is the most exciting part for you viewers, I know. All right, so we're getting ready to find out what my blood sugar is. We have a 70 on the blood sugar and a 1.9 on the blood ketones. Okay, so decent ketosis. I'd say that's actually higher end of ketosis. So uh, let's come back an hour later or an hour and a half and at the time is 7.55 p.m. So let's come back later and check and see where we're at on blood sugar and blood ketones. Does Zevia, or Stevia in general, lower your insulin and raise your blood glucose, which effectively, if my science is correct, would lower that number, 1.9. So let's find out, all right, stay tuned. Okay, let's so take a look here. So we have a blood glucose of 62 and a blood ketone of 1.8. So in my verdict in this uh, situation is that Zevia or Stevia does not affect our blood glucose or insulin or obviously our blood ketones to the point that we shouldn't use it on a ketogenic diet. So. That is your ketogenic product testing for today, www.musclesandveggies.com for more, and stay tuned.